Have you ever been in another dimension? Have you ever been journeying on a medicine and you're somewhere else? While you're there, it's incredible. And then you come back and you can't kind of communicate what happened. And then slowly over time, it fades. And you have a kind of a memory of what occurred, but not really. But what you do know is that there are other dimensions. You do know that there's methodologies to get there. Now, in some, it could be through medicines. In others, it could be through breathing. Lots of different ways to the top of the mountain. But if we do not acknowledge this, if we live life thinking that this is not, does not occur, we lose that connection to the sacred space, to the space we kind of can't see, but is always there, that we have access to as human beings, but not if our thinking is in fear and not if we don't try to find it. So what about you? Are you journeying to find the highest potential self of you? Are you looking to connect with your soul? Have you already connected to your soul? What is your soul? How does that connect to your mind? How does that connect to how you think? How does that connect to how you communicate? How does that connect with how you spend your time? How does that connect with how you make your living? These are somewhat good questions. You might ask them yourself, or maybe you never do. And if you never do, you may have a life that is unexamined. Some of the greatest teachers that we've ever had, that all the whole religions are created from point to the same place, point to something more within us that we can get access to if we have a certain mind frame, a mindset that is in alignment with deeper truths, and then your world changes. All of a sudden, it isn't the way you think it is. You may get somewhere where no one has gone before. But who do you talk with about it? How do you even communicate about it? Do you want to communicate about it? Maybe it's necessary for each piece of the puzzle to come together, for all the superheroes to share their knowledge in such a way that we actually find out who we are, where we are, and what we're supposed to be doing at this time. I'm Captain Sweep, and one of my powers is to map reality and to give a reference point that may be just a little bit different than you're used to. How we share time together becomes the main reference point for how our minds link together. So depending upon how we see time, is it a linear line going like this? Or perhaps there's other ways to see a year where here we have 13 cycles of four that create a certain mathematical precision, but more based upon the movements of the moon and the movements of our own minds within that. So if we want to change the world, we may want to use the one year 13 cycle four spaces pulse map in order to create a longer framework for teams to work together and communities to come together. Good idea, right? We do things a little bit differently here at Planetary Guardians. Are you ready for us? We're not ready for you. We may never be, but no one else is going to take you, so you might as well come to Planetary Guardians, right? 